Let's begin. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, whoever you see right now, is here to celebrate your love's ultimate triumph. And witness Ian and McKenna join in a sacred union of marriage. Marriage is not just love and commitment in life. It is a great amount of work two people must do on a daily basis. It is a choice that the two of you must make every morning and every night. Great marriage is based on trust, loyalty, compassion, empathy, and forgiveness. It is an absolute certain decision to stick together through thick and thin, and even if there are a million reasons to fall apart, to search and rescue the one that will keep the two of you intact. McKenna, not only you're marrying a handsome groom, but you're also marrying a man whose heart was irrevocably stolen by you on the way to the prom. The longer you were singing the songs of the Beatles, the more he was realizing that all he had needed was love. All he wants to do today is hear his most beautiful, fun, and best at snuggling woman say the magical, I do. And not only you're marrying a petite and a beautiful bride, but you're also marrying your best friend and biggest admirer. Someone who is in constant awe with your optimism and your unique ability to be there for her, even if you have no clue how to help. She will forever be the same girl who still gets butterflies every time she looks at you. But all this said, I simply must ask, do you present yourselves willingly and of your own accord to be joined in this marriage? If yes, please say I do. Yeah. I do. I know that there are certain words that you want to share with each other that come from the bottom of your hearts. Don't know about my heart, but uh, all right. <laughs> Let me hold your bouquet. Okay, ready? Oh, are you going to go first? Yeah, I'm going to go first. Ready? All right, go. I said, I hate the way that you call my name and the way you cut your hair. I hate the way you drive my truck. I hate it when you stare. I hate your big dumb combat boots and the way you read my mind. I hate it so much it makes me sick. It even makes me run. I hate the way you're always right. I hate it when you take my space. I hate it when you make me laugh and even worse when you make me cry. I hate it when you're not around and the fact that you can't call. But mostly I hate the way I don't hate you. Not even close, not even a little bit, not at all. My turn. Your turn. From the great words of Adam Sandler himself. <laughs> you're trying to pick any better piece of paper. No, this is only one I have All right. I want to make you smile whenever you're sad and carry you around and shrug when your arthritis is bad. All I want to do is grow old with you. I'll get your medicine when your tummy aches, build you a fire if the furnace breaks. All I want to do is grow old with you. I'll miss you, kiss you, give you my coat when you are cold, need you, feed you, even that you hold the remote control. <laughs> so let me do the dishes in our kitchen sink. <laughs> Put you in bed when you have too much to drink. I could be the man that grows over with you. All I want to do is grow old with you. Having this love in your heart, you have chosen to exchange the rings. I start with you, groom. Take your bride's hand, place it on her finger. Repeat after me, McKenna, accept this ring. McKenna, accept this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. Your turn, dear. Okay. <laughs> Ian, accept this ring. Ian, accept this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. Thank you. Well, something tells me you will always be the kids mm -hmm. that went to the prom and sang the songs. Continue doing everything you did in the beginning of your relationship. And your marriage will be nothing but a success. And now, it is my honor, my privilege, my delight to pronounce you husband and wife. You can kiss your beautiful bride. Okay.